Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are discussing about multiple choice questions and answers about obstetric and gynecology. Before that, if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. We can see the questions and answers one by one. In the first question, what is the normal position of uterus in the female body? The options are antiverted and antiflexed, retroverted and antiflexed, retroverted and deflexed. Antiverted and deflexed. What is the normal position of uterus in the female body? And the answer is antiverted and antiflexed. The next question normal length of uterine cavity. The options are 5 to 5.5 cm, 6 to 6.5 cm, 8 to 8.5 cm. 6.5 to 7.5 cm normal length of the uterine cavity and the answer is 6.5 to 7.5 cm the next question pH of vaginal secretion the options are 3 to 3.5 4 to 4.5 4 to 5 5 to 6 pH of vaginal secretion And the answer is 4 to 5. And the next question, how much time is required for the spermatogonium to develop into a mature spermatozoan? And the options are 21 days, 30 days, 61 days and 72 days. How much time is required for the spermatogonium to develop into a mature spermatozoan? The answer is 61 days. And the next question, fertilizable lifespan of oocyte. The options are 12 to 24 hours, 24 to 46 hours, 2 to 4 hours and 14 days. The fertilizable lifespan of oocyte. And the answer is 12 to 24 hours. And the fertilizable lifespan of sperm is 48 to 72 hours. And the next question, Sperm egg collision ends with the production of a mononucleotide single cell, which is termed as the options are morula, embryo, zygote, and blastomere. And the answer is zygote. And the next question placenta and fetal membranes are developed from the options are decidua, chorion. Trophoblast and blastomere. The placenta and fetal membranes are developed from and the answer is trophoblast. The next question in which week the embryo can be differentiated as human? The options are third week, fourth week, sixth week, and eighth week. In which week the embryo can be differentiated as human? And the answer is 8th week. And the next question. The fetal blood flow through the placenta is about. The options are 200 milliliter per hour, 600 milliliter per hour, 500 milliliter per hour and 400 milliliter per hour. The fetal blood flow through the placenta is about. And the answer is 400 milliliter per hour. And the next question. Which hormone does not cross the placenta? The options are parathormone, insulin, calcitonin and both A and C. Which hormone do not cross the placenta? The answer is both A and C that is parathormone and calcitonin. The next question, amount of amniotic fluid at the term measures about? The options are 300 to 400 milliliter, 400 to 500 milliliter, 500 to 600 milliliter and 600 to 800 milliliter. The amount of amniotic fluid at the term. And the answer is 600 to 800 milliliter. And at the 12 week it is 50 ml and 20 week 400 ml, 36 weeks 1000 ml and in 40 weeks 
600 to 800 ml and in 43 weeks decreased 200 ml. The next question, golden color of amniotic fluid suggestive of the options are post maturity, concealed hemorrhage, arch incompatibility and intrauterine death. Golden color amniotic fluid suggestive of and the answer is RH incompatibility. The next two question, the color of amniotic fluid in case of post maturity is the options are golden color, greenish yellow, green color and tobacco juice color. The color of amniotic fluid in case of post maturity is the answer is greenish yellow that is saffron color. The next question in case of concealed accidental hemorrhage the color of amniotic fluid is the options are dark colored, greenish yellow, green color and yellow color. In case of concealed accidental hemorrhage the color of amniotic fluid is and the answer is dark colored. The next question, the tobacco juice appearance of amniotic fluid is found in case of the options are post maturity, arch incompatibility, intrauterine death, concealed hemorrhage. The tobacco juice appearance of amniotic fluid is found in case of the answer is intrauterine death. The next question. Which hemoglobin has got greater affinity to oxygen? The options are adult hemoglobin, fetal hemoglobin, animal hemoglobin and both A and B. Which hemoglobin has got greater affinity to oxygen? And the answer is fetal hemoglobin. The next question. Lifespan of fetal RBC is? The options are 20 days. 30 days, 160 days and 80 days. Lifespan of fetal RBC is? The lifespan of fetal RBC is 80 days. And the next two question, important change in breast during pregnancy is? The options are Goodall sign, Montgomery tubercles, Colasma gravidarum and Jacquemus sign. Important changes in breast during pregnancy. And the answer is Montgomery's tubercles. The Montgomery tubercles are sebaceous glands that appear as a small bumps around dark area of nipple. Next to question, another name of pregnancy mark. The options are Montgomery tubercles, Colasma gravidarum, Linea Niagara and Linea albicans. Another name of pregnancy mark. And the answer is Colasma gravidarum. The next question. Total iron requirement during pregnancy is. The options are 600 mg, 1200 mg, 1000 mg and 1400 mg. Total iron requirement during pregnancy. And the answer is 1000 mg. In the next question, marked softening of cervix during pregnancy is termed as? The options are Goodall sign, Jackmer sign, Braxton sign, none of the above. Marked softening of cervix during pregnancy is? And the answer is Goodall sign. The next question. Which hormone result in diminished muscle tone and motility of entire GI tract during pregnancy? The options are estrogen, progesterone, oxytocin and glucagon. Which hormone result in diminished muscle tone and motility of entire GIT during pregnancy? The answer is progesterone. In the next question, in which week there is a transfer of function of corpus luteum to the placenta? The options are 2 to 3 weeks, 4 to 6 weeks, 
7 to 9 weeks, 8 to 10 weeks. In which week there is a transfer of function of corpus luteum to the placenta? And the answer is 7 to 9 weeks. The next question, the half-life of human chorionic gonadotrophin. The options are 12 hours, 24 hours, 14 hours. Half-life of HCG. And the answer is 24 hours. After delivery, miscarriage or pregnancy termination, the H HCG falls within a half-life of 24 to 36 hours. And the next question, the increased pulsation felt through the lateral fornices at 8 week is termed as? The options are Goodall sign, Chadwick sign, Osiander sign and Hagar sign. The increased pulsation felt through the lateral fornices at 8 week. And the answer is Osiander sign. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.